understanding some of the problems and characteristics of diesel fuel will allow you to reduce the amount of contaminants in your fuel system. Doing so will help minimize downtime and eliminate engine damage. While it may not be possible to prevent all damage caused by dirty fuel, adhering to a strict maintenance schedule will help to ensure that your filter is ready to capture damaging contaminants before they reach vital engine parts. Remember, as fuel filters become plugged, they are doing their job. However, if a filter seems to have become plugged after just a short time, it could be that there are too many contaminants in the fuel. To help identify the problem, you may want to remove the filter and send it to a certified lab for further inspection. If the media is covered with slime, it is an indication of a fungus or bacteria problem in the fuel. Your best course of action is to treat the system with a biocide. An oily black substance on the filter media indicates the presence of particulates, often called asphaltines, in the fuel. Most often, these contaminants settle to the bottom, but then get stirred back into the fuel during delivery. Water in the fuel system is the most common form of fuel contamination and can be identified by wavy pleats in the media. If outside temperatures are very low, the water will freeze. Ice will then pass through the system and may plug the fuel filters and possibly the fuel pump or injectors. In the colder months, waxing can also become a problem as low temperatures cause wax in the fuel to gel. This gel will then plug filters and fuel lines. To prevent waxing and freezing in the fuel system, some equipment owners operating in severe climates use number one diesel fuel. This fuel has less wax and won't gel as quickly as number two diesel. In addition, additives, filter blankets, tank heaters, and inline heaters help prevent waxing or gelling of the fuel, which results in less engine operating problems. In addition to maintaining regular fuel filter change intervals, there are several steps you can take to help reduce contaminants in your fuel system. First, make sure both you and your supplier provide proper ventilation and maintenance of storage tanks. Be sure to periodically drain the sediment from your machine's fuel tank after it is set for 24 hours. When receiving fuel from your supplier, let it set for 72 hours, allowing the contaminants to settle. And finally, be sure to top off fuel tanks at the end of each day. This will help minimize condensation.